No, g'day, Trader Sam here from Trader Prosper. Got one or two requests about BNB, as it's probably a hot topic in the market. So what I've done is done a, a similar approach to Bitcoin, what I did before, and uh, not finished yet. But having done that, let's see if this process works. Okay. Um, what I want to do is put a Fibonacci on this as well. See if there's any relevance. Okay, that seems to be working, making sense. All right, <clears throat> maybe you can see on the macro what we're seeing. What I do believe is this is a, a continuation pattern. We obviously got a, a top formation on the weekly and we got the bottom. This to me looks like a continuation pattern. There is that slight possibility that we could do a double bottom and then go up if the market goes bearish. So um, how do we know when it goes bearish? If we break this trend line, really, this is a weekly chart. So if we look at a few aspects to this chart, uh, give or take, what I want to do is just, just clean this up a bit. And make these angles a bit better so I'll use that to get the the fibs right as well okay so we've got from top to bottom and what I, I tend to do is closely get one value right there so the top is one and um, the bottom is zero and what I want to do is just make this a bit smaller. Doesn't take up too much space. Now we get a close look. So macro wise, what I do believe is um, if we do the Elliott wave, this is Elliott one, two, three, four, and five is going to continue on. So let's see that. It's a continuation pattern. If you look at um, some continuation uh, Wyckoff structures. This pretty much fits into it. Give me a sec and I'll bring you an example. On my website, I have a level uh, Wyckoff schematics. Someone did a post. You can search it somewhere else as well, not just on my website. I've copied the blog for future reference. And what we see is this continuation pattern, one of these four. So let's have a Good look at those and put, bring them across. So here we have the, the, the continuation patterns. So I'm looking at something like this. So we've got double top, double top, and so far it looks looking like this, isn't it? This continuation pattern. So we have our phase, phase one, the phase B, which is the double top. And we could probably do this and then come back down again. But you can see the variations. This could be another variation as well. Um, this is only four, there's more than that. But you can see that the continuation pattern is what I'm expecting with BNB and I expect it to go higher. It could go up to in the thousands. Um, but we'll talk about that some other time. But this is the structure I'm talking about from my Wyckoff reaccumulation phase. So this is reaccumulation as far as I can understand. So moving, looking at close at this, let's look at the uh, the, the tools in hand. Whoops. Definitely the weekly Phoenix is in the upward momentum. It seems like it's just topped out a bit. We have stochastic also upward momentum. And obviously this one a bit down at the moment. So let's look at um, three day chart. So the three day chart, we can see this is the Phoenix is dropping fast. It's below 50%. So that's not a good sign. Stochastic is also dropping. So we got down with pressure. And if we look at the RSI, where is that one? That's a MACD. MACD is also looking. Whoops. Let's look at this one. And we've got you, as you can notice, I've got a few. So the RSI has peaked, and but still above 50% on the three day. And realistically, 
this was uh, potentially a breakout trade. Maybe we'll come down. So we look at this and it might get a, a bounce off that on the free day. Okay, so let's have a look at that. These aren't going to help. This is still not turned over. And here we go. So Stochastic is dropping as well. So here we should find support. Realistically, when we look at this chart, ever so, it does look like it. So we, this is our trend line. And this middle section really is similar to Bitcoin. It needs a hold. If it holds this level, so we've got the 200 daily, SMA and EMA, it's likely to hold, in my opinion. And uh, and if it drops this level, you can see how historically this, this level was significant. So on the three day chart, we don't want to see this drop below it. And the bulls, I think this will come down, retest it, and we need to see it continue on. So this could be a breakout trade. At the moment, we've, we've pretty much lost that key level. We've dropped below it. So that's a bearish sign. What we want to see is consolidate. It could probably just drop and or continue on. It really comes down to Bitcoin, what it does, doesn't it? But we are a support level. It's still bullish as far as I can understand from that perspective. Now, let's look at it on a smaller time frame. So macro, you can see how I lined it with our top 618. And you can see how all this has confluence with this, this level. It's level of significance. And then we have this other one level, or the, the flat. That's the flat level. And we can also see. Um, so it's a level of significance. If we lose this level, if we lose... Say so 300 round number, 304. Um, I, I think it'll, it'll continue down and it might do one of those all here. So, what we have is these major fib levels as pivot points all along. And if it, if, if it comes down here, I think it'll come more down here or over here. Um, but yeah, that's that's what we have at the moment. Down, there is downward pressure. And let's look on the daily. So I think he hasn't quite touched it yet. I think it's still either this comes up, this goes sideways, and then that, then we'll have a pivot. Um, this looks like wave five. A, B, could be A, B, C, and then up. But we need to look at a smaller time frame. Let's have a look at it. This is nasty. So it's still holding. You can see the resistance and the support. This is going to make the decider really on the four hour. Um, we we have definitely broken that trend. So that's why five. Is this an ABC complete? Ignore that that this week because it make, makes a mark. If that's A and B, is that C done? And then we're going to continue a new way to the upside. Yet to be seen. But this level, as I said, is critical. Um, it came down and it obviously brought up straight away. You can see on a smaller time frame, we have our levels. So if we were to bring this down, no, I don't want this one. I want this Fibonacci. We go from the top and we say it started roughly there. And again, the 0.5 Fib is acting as support and then this is going to be another level of support so we can see our resistance the fibonacci is really working this neckline's been broken guys so this is an important neckline that's been broken and more so that's been broken and and it did touch it and fall back so this is a swing failure move short re-attempt short and now um anywhere you can go anywhere so it's going to be a consolidation for move up or move down and that really requires bitcoin but if it does break up above this you can't be really confident can you so that's 
that's the that's the that's the issue. And um, this was a nice move. You can see it was a breakout trade. We had an accumulation for some time. Look at that. Really, it was just accumulation, of, like a bowl, rounded bottom, and a breakup. So, and you can see how that sort of comes into play as well. If we were to do this and just bring this around a bit, that wick gets to six six one eight. Um, it might be a case where we we just play this level. This trend line and then try to break this top level so triangle i think that's what's going to be likely and then we get a to the down or to the up i'm going to leave that there guys hopefully that helps talk to you soon cheers